All right, man. Apparently, Detroit Lions, uh, you know, TJ Hawkinson trade is pretty much finalized. Um, after the Lions, after the Vikings lost in the playoffs, apparently the Vikings, um, get a better draft pick because of it. Let's speak on it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Increase your chance. You get notifications. We go live or um, drop a video. So apparently the Vikings get a better draft pick after the first round exit versus the Minnesota Vikings. Um, it says the conditions of TJ Hawkins and Trey finalized after the Vikings law playoff loss. The Vikings will get a better draft pick in return for the TJ Hawkins and trade after the loss to the Giants in the wild card round. And real quick, uh, I don't know. Daniel Jones played exceptionally well. Um, he played really, really well in that game. I will say that. I don't know if Vikings defense ain't the best, but um, he played really, really well. Um, he was he was he was throwing the ball around, running the ball around, and um, you know the more he keep, the better he continued to keep playing. Uh, the more money he gonna keep going. Same thing with Geno Smith. Had he was able to beat the 49ers, he was gonna cash in somewhere. You know. And uh, he athletic, big, strong kid, uh, you know, and they got some protection, you know. You know, Saquon Barkley running better. They got up some tackles, drafted some offensive linemen. And, you know, you know, they had talent defensively. It was a good defensive team under Joe Judge. Just that, you know, people didn't like Joe Judge and they didn't do the things that need to be done to, to, to support Daniel Jones. And I don't think he drafted Daniel Jones neither. I think that was a whole different, you know, thing. But Kirk Cousins, you know. You know, Minnesota, you know, they, you know, they said it's hard to go, you know, what Brad Holmes say, he said it's easy to get worse at quarterback than it is to get better. And that's the safe bull crap that the NFL believes. And it's the safe thing that Minnesota believe. Go out there and find you a damn quarterback. All that talent on that team, Kirk Cousins is an underachiever. Um, and ain't nothing wrong with that, but he don't achieve big things in big games. He ain't a big game player. They need to go get a quarterback. You got to take a risk. I know it's, it feels safe to, you know, but if you got going nowhere fast, what's the point? If you ain't going nowhere slow with Kirk Cousins, why not upgrade the position? They keep handing him all this money. He keep coming up short. They keep surrounding with talent. They keep coming up short. That's what I don't understand. You know, I just don't understand it. You know, but, uh, you know that that's that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. Not saying this is 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 you know, on Kirk Cousins, but I don't understand it. These GM scared to go get quarterback, scared to believe in them. But back in November, the Detroit Lions traded the tight end T.J. Hawkinson to the division rival Minnesota Vikings. Exact trade. Terms of the trade were not completely set in stone. While the majority of the framework had been established, there was one pick that was conditional, meaning it could change depending on one game player outcome after the trade has been made. He Here's, uh, here's a reminder of, of the trade terms. Lions get a 2023 second-round pick and a 2024 third-round pick. Vikings get TJ Hawkinson in the 2023 fourth-round pick and a conditional 2024 fourth-round pick. The condition, if the Vikings win a playoff game, that the conditional picks drops to a 2024th um, pick, okay? You know, in other words, if the Vikings do well in the result of trade, the Lions will not have to send back a trade, uh, a must trade capital as originally agreed upon. However, the Vikings don't win a playoff game. The pick remains a 2024 pick. So on Sunday night, the Vikings played, and we already know what happened. So Vikings couldn't even get that done. You know what I'm saying? Um... You know what I'm saying? You know, they couldn't even get that done. They couldn't even get that done. And they're going to keep paying Kirk Cousins because they scared to move on. Oh, Kirk has a good year this year looking at the numbers. I'll be telling y'all numbers be lying. I'll be telling y'all numbers be lying. All the time I tell y'all numbers be lying. You know, and that's just, you know, you got to watch the games, how they won, how the numbers are put up.
And Kirk Cousins just ain't money when he need to be money. That's all it is. He ain't money when he need to be money. You know? But, you know, it is what it is. It's a fourth, and it's a fourth that we could have kept had they just beat the Giants. You had to ask most people, even though they played the Giants close, you'll figure they'd get past the Giants, but couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So, it don't, it don't shock me too much. It don't shock me too much. It don't. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, a lot of you know, Hawkins seen seem to fit over well there. We see why the Lions moved on from them. They seem to be doing well with the tight ends that they that they got. Um sorry for the dogs, somebody about to walk in. But they seem to be doing good with the uh with the tight ends that they got. And, you know, we've seen, you know, we seem to be doing good with the tight ends that we got. And they did get Irv Smith back. They did get Irv Smith back. So, um, so we'll see. I don't know if they're going to pay Hawkinson. I know they extended his fifth year option, so they got some time to pay him. But, uh, but I mean, we just going to have to wait and see. But uh, we just, you know, him and Golf didn't click. And whatever reason it was, Golf seemed to be clicking better with the other tight ends, James Mitchell. Uh, we drafted him fifth, I think, fifth round last year out of Virginia Tech. Um, he seemed to be better clicking with Zelstra and Brock Wright, and you know all of them. So, um, so yeah, he seemed to be doing. He seemed to be doing better than better with that. They just they just doing too much. But yeah, they they seem they seem to be clicking better with that. So, um, congrat you know congratulations to them. You know what I'm saying. And um, to, to to Vikings, and you know, I think they're gonna end up. You know, I think they're gonna end up keeping them, uh, end up continuing to pay them, and uh, we're going to see them for years to come. So I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm not mad at the deal. It would have been nice to keep up. It'd have been nice to keep the. Uh, it'd have been nice to keep the fourth round pick, but uh, obviously, you know, that ain't that ain't happen. So let me know what you girls and guys think. You got Detroit Lions talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Increase your chance get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Check out Detroit Lions talk playlist for more videos like this. Um, hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast. The whole nine. Appreciate the love, support, peace.